Hello and welcome everyone back to our Victoria 2 campaign as Kreuz Deutschland or United Germany. When we had last left off, we had begun the process of federalization and well, we have expanded all over the globe. So picking up things where we left off in between episodes, I've looked around and I've realized that we need to build more troops for this army. We have to ban the Dutch in the Ottoman Empire because they are getting a bit too big for their boots. So, we are going to influence them heavily, try and get back ourselves back to the prime position over there. I was also going to build Chilean railways so that they are able to, well, it will enable us to, it will enable us to gain influence there faster. We are also going to reposition our troops westwards in preparation for a lightning war against the French. Also going to move our troops into position. And I've realized that we are able to probably build a few more commerce traders. In addition, when recruiting troops, if I'm not wrong, I forgot to recruit enough artillery which I am right so let's build some artillery here and now we are probably going to build another unit not another unit but another army because the stronger we are the more people will fear us and not attack us so let's do just that five infantry two hussars And an engineer. So let's unpause. Well, before that, let's change our government back to the reactionaries and make sure every one of them are, every one of our people are employed. But speeding things up would be nice. And let's get the game rolling. We'll save our mortgage reforms for the war, upcoming war against France, whose truce with us ends in... Our oh, breach loaded rifles is nice, we'll end in 65. Let's research nationalism and imperialism. I don't think we need additional military attack against France. Took some avoidable attrition there, which is unfortunate. Troops are building. Pre That's a lot of discoveries to happen in one month, which is nice. Now our inventory is going to be much better. Let's do it Liam the Nuttall. However, we are going to release you once more. Because we need to burn off that infamy. You know what, screw it, let's disable all rallying points except. In Verona, or at least in Venice, and we we'll just shuffle the extra unit over later. Who is this? This is Hamburg. We've released them. Almost forgot about it. These guys need an additional artillery. Which is still producing. It's in November now.
Oh right, we are supposed to colonize Borna, I almost forgot. Now this will finish in August, which is highly unfortunate. Let's split an artillery off to join this army. And the Borno is gonna give us a hit at hit start in terms of well the scramble for Africa because it's we are able to colonize it about five five years earlier than the rest of Africa. Which is nice. In fact colonizing early is always nice. We should do it more often. So we're just waiting at this point. Nassau Welcome back to the right. Let's release them again. And we're just here waiting. Our infamy is close to zero, which is nice. Let's improve our relationship with our allies. And in fact, who's in our sphere right now? Let's try to form a little alliance network. And well, that's that. Colombia, Nassau, and Liam, then I thought. Are all with us. We just released them. And they already fall back in line. Lovely, lovely. Now we are in the proud position of having zero infamy at all. The reason why we're not justifying war is because we want to justify war against France. We're gonna justify a acquire state and hopefully be ready for them. So who are we fighting this time? A lot of people. Fantastic, let's see exactly who though. The Swiss, Tuscans, Sardinia, Piedmont, Parma, Papal States, Portugal, Russia, and Bayern, France. So for once, Modena's not against us. Pretty smart, they've kind of learned their lesson. We'll move these guys to Florence, move these guys to Parma. Send three armies to knock out. Knock out the Swiss rather quick. Gonna advance into France itself. Well, let's unpause. Russian Empire will must renounce the title. And thank you for that prestige, my good sir. I appreciate the thought. Thank you for even more prestige, America. Now we are here to win, and we're gonna win big. I think it's time to launch for more case reforms, which gives us supply consumption, land organizations, organization recovery rate. A lot of good stuff that we're gonna use against the French to splendid effect. Now this battle is going to mean a lot more than occupying just some border forts.
So it's kind of sad that we have to sacrifice that occupation, but in the long run, it's for the better. Uh, let's, um, let's move our troops to Genoa and we accept Parma. Yes, we allow you military access. I'm gonna move these guys to Novara. Rome must fall, Florence must fall. In fact, let's actually make sure that Switzerland falls as well. Just guarantee it. Now on to Occupy Turin. I'm sure the Florentines won out now. Yes, they won out. We'll go occupy more territory. Start pushing our troops back north. The Swiss one out, we'll give them that. So far, we're really knocking down the French allies at this point. In fact, let's go to the wrecking ball mode. Just crush the French, ar French armies that are laid out in front of us. Increase opinion. Do the several yards one out now? Yes, they are out. Our war with France is progressing splendidly. The Pope wants out. These four armies. Head east and deal with the Russians, please. I'm sure our stacks over here will do fine. If we just micro our forces with the French should be roughly equal. So we'll send two armies south to cross this army. Three armies northwards. Admittedly, I've kind of misjudged the force composition over here. We'll spread our armies out. We're gonna crush the French properly. Come on, you men, march faster. So, well, looks like our armies got kind of smashed here. We'll give it a turn for them to recover. Let's go. Spread out. Now we're just hammering the Russians in the east.
And now look at this. This is German recovery right here. Men who were born to fight. Far armies up. Close support. There are no bill. Oh, just to get in front is going just fine. I'll take care of the smaller French stacks. We can create a protectorate and a state over here, which is nice. Alright, the German Navy, how could we forget? September has come, we shall slaughter even more Frenchmen. Then one one army down. One army east. And well. These two armies please head back west. You are needed once more. Let's blockade the coast of France. Now tell me good sir, am I supposed to believe that our good German armies are losing to a numerically inferior opponent? Let's spread out again. So we maximize the morale and troop recovery. The French menace. Now we send these two armies to support, these two armies to crush this French army. And we're gonna school the French in the art of war. Force concentration and dispersion. As taught by the many Prussians who came before. Come on, Krakow, hold out just a little bit longer. The Russians retreated, which is fantastic news. We're again going to split our troops here. And once more over here. Morale recovery is key. Spare our troops thin enough, but not too thin. November, two armies to crush. They shall liberate means they shall liberate. We, it's time for us to liberate our homelands. Now the Russians have come in again. I'm gonna school them once more. Tell them to go home.
the French are in our south. How is the war going? Well, it's going splendidly for us. But I think it's time for us to go on the offensive as well. The Russians cannot and must not occupy Hungary. Let's go rescue this core. Let's go start occupying Nancy. Let's slaughter this army and head on to Verdun. Let's pull the weakened army out of there to replenish. Lost the Battle of Arkan, are you kidding me? We'll spread out and recover again. And I repeat, the Russians cannot and must not occupy Hungary. A few more days until we can end a war go with France. They were at peace right now, but what I want is a state from them, namely French Com. And I think that's going to take quite a lot of war score. So let's work on it. Let's research inorganic chemistry. For national focus. Let's put more craftsmen in Pormen. These two individual armies can go smash their French counterparts. We're, we're winning Ternopil again. They're like sweepers over here. Cleaning up the mess. So occupy Shalmon. They will not accept it. To be expected. They haven't even occupied the French capital yet. Which we shall do so with these two armies. Let's go help out the auto the auto derps over here. Where is our battle fleet? Let's go sink the Russian Navy. Let's keep occupying. Driving forward over here. Because that's the only way we'll get the French to peace out. Once we grab the ticking war score, which will help a lot. We also need to make sure the French do not occupy too much behind our own lines. In fact, these two armies can be on reoccupation duty. But of course, save our own men first. Let's add Chile to our sphere. Let's start influencing, let's say, Argentina.
Just stay here. Oh no. Come on, just occupy Paris already. We might have spread ourselves a bit too thin. How about it now, France? 3% was close. Apparently not enough. We're winning all the battles, but that's about all we're winning right now. The French and the Russians will out occupy us if we're not careful. Yes. Yes. You have no idea how satisfying this is. We've gained a new state, a French comm. Open all the factories, let's find it over here. Adds a few more factories to our realm. Which should sh help shoot our industrial score higher and higher. In addition... Let's... Thank you, Egypt. Sign the Geneva Convention. We shall also release Luxembourg again. And well, let's start justifying war against people, I guess. Okay, I'll handle all the forts and stuff, but let's look at our next target. Our truth that ends at 1866. How about with Ethiopia? 1866. So it looks like the next the next batch of wars are coming. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I certainly have. We've thrown back the Russian-French alliance once more and we've taken a chunk out of France to boot. Which is going to be grand. We're going to go reorganize our armies. We're going to, well, fix a lot of things. So, well... Like, leave a like if you like this video, subscribe to see more and put anything you want to say in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time where we are going to go on another blob of expansion. So until then, take care.